Do you have friends who never seem to be studying much, but always end up getting the highest grades? If you ask them, they'll just say, I don't know, I just got lucky. Everyone, including you, just assumes that they're genetically blessed or naturally clever. You naturally come to the conclusion that you need to put in 10 times more work in order to just keep up. But, my friends, they're probably just gatekeeping how they really study. Hi guys, if you're new here, I'm Anthony. Last year, I achieved top 1% in my exams whilst balancing my hobbies, social life, and this YouTube channel. My goal today is to spoil the party for the naturally clever people, because it's not true. They just know how to study smart. So no gatekeeping. Let's reveal the secrets together. A lot of lectures can be quite useless. Being a good doctor doesn't equal being a good teacher. They make the mistake of assuming that we have their knowledge. And so a lot of the times they don't break things down into understandable chunks of information. Secondly, often just read off a PowerPoint slide, word for word off their presentation. You just think, why am I even here if they're just gonna read off a PowerPoint? Probably the most important thing of all is that in 2024, all the information is out there for you. There are so many good resources that you can trust that are reliable, that people have used already for years and they've gotten good results with. To name a couple, there's Osmosis, Zero to Finals, Dirty Medicine, offer amazing information. And if you really wanted to, you could watch them on two times speed. I'm not saying that all lectures are bad. There are certainly amazing doctors who are also amazing teachers. But unless you already know the doctor teaching you personally, and you know they're good, then you need to kind of hedge your bets in one direction. The most reliable bet would be to consume the educational knowledge online in a fraction of the time. You're able to cover a lot more topics in the same amount of time. The second thing is to stop taking notes. There's already plenty of established evidence out there through studies, research papers, that purely taking notes is not an effective way to study because it's passive, it's easy. If you've ever excelled in anything, you already know that it's when it feels hard that's when you get the best results. If you train hard in your sport and you feel knackered after, you feel sore the next day, that's when you know you're gonna improve. When you can tell that your brain is tired, that's when you know you've studied hard. You do that through active methods of studying. You don't need AI, any one of these new things that they'll try and tell you to do these days. There's the tried and tested ways of studying that will work and stand the test of time. And one of them is flashcards. Everyone already knows what flashcards are. For example, Quizlet, Anki, any flashcard app is going to be one of your best friends. The third thing is to use case studies to learn. It will guide you through what a doctor would actually do in real life from the moment the, the patient gets into the hospital to the time that they get discharged and beyond. What investigations would they order? How would they clinically present? How would you manage it in terms of treatment? All of these steps is covered within one case study and that makes it very good for your brain to digest the information, arrange it in a way in your brain that you're not gonna forget. And that leads me perfectly to talk about Scope, a comprehensive medical knowledge and educational platform for all medical students. It's an amazing, completely free resource that I've been using that has really, really helped me studying for my exams. It includes a bank of case studies written by real doctors and it allows you to work step by step through a case fully understanding the condition. I truly believe that all effective teaching in medical school starts with patience and problems. If there's anything that you don't understand, all you need to do is hover over the information icons. It will show you YouTube links and other text resources that will help you plug your knowledge gaps there and then without having to go on another rabbit hunt down YouTube or Google. Everything you need is within this one platform. They have videos on the platform showing you exactly how to use the system. So if you wanna go check it out, click on the link in the description. It's completely free to sign up. Stop cramming and trust the process. The people who study smart understand the power of compounding over time. If you study something little and often over a long period of time, it's much more likely to stick. It's also a million times less stressful. If you were to cram, you're gonna have to have a period of time, say a couple weeks, a month, where you literally have to study all day just to pass. You're gonna have to miss out on the things that naturally help you to release stress, like exercise, hanging out with friends. Trust the process and trust your brain because stuff will go in and stuff will stick if you study consistently over a long period of time. Just one or two hours a day is enough. If you were to study one hour every day for six days, that is more effective than six hours in one day. 
because of compounding. People who say, oh, I have to study six hours just to do well, it's because they didn't study consistently over time. And so now they're just making excuses and they're trying to make themselves feel better and they're trying to blame other people. Trust the process and you'll be just fine. The fifth thing is using medical school question banks to learn and not just to revise. A lot of people see question banks as purely the last piece of the puzzle. The thing they do a couple of weeks out from the exam. People who study smart understand the more times you fail, the closer you are to success. So when they study using the question banks, at the beginning, they'll get scores like 30, 40%. But they don't care and they accept the fact that they're not going to do well. The question bank is not the actual exam. It's not the real thing. And they know that in the end, they will get 80, 90, 100%. Use them to your advantage, to their max potential. And to do that, use them straight away to learn things. Smart people learn and revise at the same time. All of us have experienced that feeling when we finally grasped a really hard, difficult concept or topic, and then we don't revisit it. Months down the line, when we do finally revisit it, we realize that we no longer understand it. Basically like learning it from scratch again. So when you've learned something, you need to revisit it at constant inter intervals. And this concept is known as spaced repetition. This cycle repeats over time. You learn something new and you revise something old. You learn something new and you revise something old. And they both happen at the same time. Once you've revisited something enough times, you'll never forget it again. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, right? Everyone knows that. You're never gonna forget that because you've just heard of that so many times. Textbooks are a relic of the past. Now, you should make the most of how the internet offers you everything you need to know. Instead of wasting your money on textbooks, spend a fraction of the amount on a question bank subscription. If you wanna check out QuezMed, you can use the code AZ10 for a 10% off. Buy a gym membership instead so you keep your body fit and strong so you can maximize your studying sessions. All of this stuff, it's gonna benefit you way more than buying a fat, chunky textbook that you have to lug around everywhere that you don't really wanna use. Just use online resources, it's all out there for you and just waiting for you to grasp with both hands. So study smart and not hard and you will excel at medical school. If you wanna learn more about being the best medical student you can be, balancing your social life and your hobbies with studying, then join the waiting list for my free school community that I'm going to be launching soon, which I'll be giving away everything I know about how to excel and succeed at medical school. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, God bless and let's win together.